human life is but an occasion to manifest one's deepest desires and farthest fears. Children are no exemption to this. They leave the security of love, the warmth of their parents, and with wide-eyed wonder reach this new destination called school. Eager to make new friends, afraid of strangers, but however, wanting to learn. What exactly is a school? One of the most beautiful definitions of this word is to be found in its acronym, which says Societal Center for Holistic Organization of Life. Unfortunately, today, the spirit of life and living has moved into the darkest recesses of education. What remains is the struggle for survival and competition. Learning and teaching have largely become lifeless mechanical processes. These currents of civilization cannot be denied or fought against. But can you put the child through the relentless treadmill of book learning and yet protect it? Are you, as an educator, equipped to deal with this innocence and enthusiasm? Are you quite equipped internally to bring love to this child? Could you love this child as if it were your own? To do this, you need to become aware of your own ruthlessness, insensitivity and wounded pride. You ought to surmount personal and emotional conflicts. It is only then that you could approach the child with tenderness and wisdom. In the more advanced civilizations, people with the best brains and Himalayan characters were appointed teachers and guides for the future. The might of a teacher is best exemplified in the life of Chanakya, the famous Indian teacher of Arthashastra and Confucius, the legendary Chinese teacher on governance and human conduct. Both these teachers coached students who went on to become future rulers and governors of states, ushering in a cultural and political golden age of their times. In an ultimate sense, teaching cannot merely be regarded as a profession. It is a labor of love and an expression of one's own passion. It is the art of sculpting the human soul. It is a power bestowed upon you by the might of destiny to be able to chisel the character and futures of the young who look up to you in awe and reverence. With a mighty resolve, evolve and surge forward to assume the time-tested place of honor which is rightfully yours. As teachers, it does not befit you to lament or decadence in society. Take action, gigantic action that would affect society and make your presence felt. And oneness extends its help to you in this noble endeavor.